It's so bad I can't look at a pack of cookies. Because I know them my baby favorite cookies. That's how bad the loss of 14-year-old Cherquavius Holloway has affected his dad and his family. The 14-year-old was shot to death over the weekend. According to the Warner Robins PD, officers were called to Margie Drive around 9 Saturday night. Officers heard several gunshots. They were able to track down the shooter and the weapon at the theater across the street. Traquavius was killed. Another team was grazed by a bullet. Holloway's family is still feeling the effects of the gunshots. His dad, Tommy, says he had just dropped his son off 20 minutes earlier at the movie theater. It wasn't much later when he got the call, his son had been shot. Is he okay? And is they for real? <laughs> y'all for real? Or y'all playing with me now? But Holloway says he knew when he arrived on scene, it was real. It didn't get real to me. So I seen out of police car. He wants people to remember his son, not for how he was killed, but rather how he lit up a room. I said that boy walk in the room, you know he walked in there. That the star. That star's death prompting a call to action meeting at Warner Robins City Hall, organized by Mayor LaRonda Patrick. Also in attendance, fraternities, the Houston County Sheriff's Department, Centerville Mayor and Police Chief, the 100 Black Men Organization, and many more. Mayor Patrick says when she looks across the community and sees who's involved in the crimes, she's not only noticing middle schoolers and high schoolers, something else stands out. And if you look to see what they look like, they look a lot like me. They look a lot like you. Um, they're all different races, but if you look at the majority of it, that is why I call the people here today that fit that description. Willie Rains works closely with the youth He's concerned about the impact cell phones and social media are having on kids. They spend most of their time on this TikTok challenge, controlling their mind. It's a control of a mindset. And so as parents, we have to stop giving our kids this and take time and come back and talk to them. Also speaking out, a local counselor and therapist saying the youth is lacking love. That bond, the sense of community, the maturity level. A lot of these kids are learning things from social media, TikTok, whatever the case you want to be, but they're not quite learning it at home. A lot of them are not thinking correctly. A lot of them actually suffer from mental health disorders. He called on the community to get the youth involved in counseling. I wish I could bring some of the boys in here that I have 